to the doing on, on the guide of how to beat cover four with the Broncos playbook. We're going to go part three today. We're going to start off at number 68 with the gun wide trips halfback week. And let's go ahead and bring that up for you here. And um, kind of go through all the guns and then we'll empty, and do on empty and kind of go from there. Okay. First play, we're looking at a stick. And to beat cover four, we're going to go ahead and put the cover four out there. On stick, what you do is you put the Y on a streak. And what we're going to do is get it to that running back. It's just really an isolation play. You got three guys to the right, one guy to the left. When that um, slant clears the area, that Y is going to be open. So let's go ahead and go put it there and throw it right there. It's a quick throw. You want to throw it as he opens it up. Let's go ahead and show it to you again. Um, that time I think I might have stayed a little bit too long right there and you're going to get your 10 yards, okay? So it's just a, a quick hitter. Um, you love to get the ball, and I'm going to preach this to cover fours. Get the ball to your running backs against cover four. Get your ball to the wide receiver screens against cover four. To the slot receiver on the left-hand side on curl routes. Um, any type of levels on the on the in routes work really well. Um, these are all route combinations to be cover four, and we're going through all those here and take a look at it. Next play we're going to look at is the PA wide receiver in. I believe that's in my audibles, which it is. It's the bottom one. This is going to be the play art for it. This, we've showed this in uh, the uh, under center wide trips formation. It's the same thing here. What we want to do is put the RB on a streak and put the A on a slant. Go ahead and do your play action. As long as you've got enough time, throw it right to the B receiver. Um, throw it to it quickly if, if it starts to break down. I feel like the under center, you get a little bit more protection for some reason, but um, we'll show it to you. If you can get to the, enough protection, you could definitely throw a home run ball to the B receiver. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit more protection here. And see how he just opens up. Nobody's around him. There's your touchdown. Okay. So let's go ahead and look. move on. We're going to go to the slot clear out play. And let's pull this up and go consistent against the cover four. Alright. Slot clear out. It's another route combination that I like. It's kind of a unique route, but it's definitely a nice one. Basically, it's going to go to um, the B receiver here first, and then we're going to show you to the um, RB next. B receiver is that China route. It's just a real tiny quick throw right there. Let him get his yardage, get up the field. Um, underneath kills cover four as well. Get your yards when you can. And then we'll go ahead and we can double do that. It's kind of a level, so we get the, the B just running the China. Then you got an outside release in. That's going to be a really nice play to go ahead and beat this as well on the second level. And see how he's wide open there. So this play in particular I really like against cover four because it's the natural play to beat it. Um, next thing we're going to do is the FL short dig. We're going to run this as is as well because we like the combination against uh, cover four. And let's go ahead and show you it here. It's the FL short dig right here. And this is one of those deals, again, where it's it's a level. Um, basically, we're going to get it to the in route right here. But the RB with that little short hesitation kind of holds everybody there. And then you throw it to your B receiver. Okay, I kind of threw it a little bit behind him there. But uh, he is open. If I throw it better, he can catch it on the run. Next play we're going to look at is a slot cross in. Make some adjustments to get this one open. But nevertheless, does work um, against the cover four so let's go ahead and look at the slot cross in get your cover four all right what we're going to do is take the a put them on a drag you're going to put the y put them on a wheel and you're going to motion your x receiver to the right okay so that's the setup so that's what it looks like when you're looking at it um after everything and you're going to be hitting the crossing route to the rb all right so once it call once it crosses in right there you see that I moved up in the pocket a little bit I felt like the reason why I do that is I kind of like to shorten the throw and it gives that um, kind of a bullet pass where the linebacker can't react as much next thing we're going to go to um, is the corner strike let's go ahead and pick this play out here all right here's a corner strike all right let's get our cover four we're going to do on the corner strike is put the RB on a streak, and um, 
what we're going to be able to do is hit the C route here. And see how he just toe-touches it there, but he's wide open on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and go to the curl flat next. Where we got curl flat. I wrote this play down wrong. It's actually called curls. Okay, so it is a curl flat combination, but I wrote it as curl flat when it should be curl flows. Okay, so here's cover four. What we're going to do on this play is um, put the RB on a streak. Okay, and what that's going to do is going to give the ability to beat cover four right there in that curl spot. All right, you want the inside release. I got hit right there. Let's try it again. RB, put the, let's block our running back this time. On the inside release, he just sits. Like, I'm not even gonna throw the ball. See how he just sits on the cover four? It gives you all the time in the world. You know, as long as you have time, the more you, you settle, the more it is. So let's go ahead and just put the RB. This is a nice play to just throw it right there, get your yardage and move up field. It's about a 10 yard game. Um, Let's go ahead and uh, look at the next play, which is going to be called the wide receiver screen. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we're getting everybody to go backwards on the cover four. All right, on the wide receiver screen play, we're going to take the B, put him on a streak, okay? We took the, B, the, we took the screen guy away, so that means we're going to go to our uh, running back on this play, right? Um, and then we're going to take the Y, and we're going to put him on a swing right, and then we're going to motion him over, okay? That gives him the ability to be on this side, and then we're going to do the screen play to the right, and look at that uh, convoy of... of of uh, blockers right there. Follow those guys and, and make them uh, make a play there. So swing this guy to the right. Put the B on a streak. Wait, 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 wait. Throw it, and then see what you can do about getting up the field. As long as you got some wide receivers that can hold um, the blocks a little bit longer, you'll have some more success. All right. So the next play we're looking at is the the Y shallow cross, and then we're going to flip this play. Flipped, and we're going to go ahead and run this like this. And all we're going to do on this play is take the B receiver, put him on a fade, just get him out of there. And that's going to open up the X receiver for you um, on the inside route. So once he goes on here, oop, and we're able to get it there. But I wanted it to was a poorly thrown ball. I should have thrown it more to the inside. So let's go ahead and try check this again here. Um, so he's going to go in, and you want to throw it to the inside, right? Um, that fade gets everybody to kind of go right, and that way you can kind of open it up. We're going to get out of this, and I'll go to the gun bunch week. We're, we're going to start off with a play called bunch trail. And we are here. All right. And against cover four. We're going to go ahead and get this trail route to work first. We're going to put A on a streak, B on a curl. And with that combination, you're going to be able to get this RB a little bit more room to be able to catch it and move up a little field. It just kind of gives them a clear catching space area. Next play we're going to look at is the Broncos curl. And the reason why I give you guys the uh, play call sheets is because, and the videos, because I want to show you how to run it. And once you learn how to run it this way, it's real easy. You just go use the play call sheet and make it work. So I know this is a little bit of a tedious um, way to go ahead and teach everything, but I want to make sure that you know how to use it so we can go from there. Um, so on the Broncos curl, you're going to take the B and put them on a, a fade route. You want to clear everybody out of there. And then what you want to do is put the X on a streak. And that's going to go ahead and get this curl route um, A right here to be able to sit once that guy goes ahead. And like I said before, curls in the f curls in the slot kill cover four. Okay, 
So next play we're going to do is the halfback cross screen. And let's go ahead and show this here. Halfback cross screen, not the slip, but the cross, so the Y play. We're going to go ahead and pick your cover four. What we do with this is we're going to take your Y receiver, we're going to move them to the left, and then we're going to drag them, okay? So look how we what we just did. We took them out of position, but we're going to do a middle screen to the Y receiver. Um, so basically all you're going to do is hike it, wait for them to come. Now you want to get behind your guys and be able to use them as a blocker, okay? So um, what I've also seen is if you do this, you move them to the left, put them on a drag, and then you put the RB on a flat, he could turn into a good blocker later in, in, in the run. So let's go ahead and check that out and see if that works better for us. All right, so now he, see how he comes back? I was watching him more than anybody. Um, you can use him as a, as a blocker later. So RB on a flat, move this guy over, Y, and drag him, and and if I can just get this play to work the right way. But you can see the gist of it. Um, y on a flat. RB on A like that. Alright, so yeah, see how he goes ahead and gets that block for you down the field? Um, you can make a lot better of a potential to break it that way. Next play we're going to look at is the Bronco Cross. we got four different ways we're going to run this play, so I want to make sure we show it to you. Um, and let's go ahead and get the Bronco Cross here, right? Uh, oop, I don't want to do four or six. That's not going to show you what you want. Okay, okay. So here we go with the Bronco Cross. The first thing we're going to do is take the RB, and we're going to slant you. We're going to take the A and hit you. Not not a curl, but a hitch. Right there. And then um, we're going to go ahead and take this B receiver and motion him to the right. Okay, so that's the first setup just to give him some more room. And what we're gonna be able to do is hit this B. Okay, that goes stops. See how that just opens up that space for him? And he needed to get to the right in order to make it. So then what we could do is do the same thing. Now we can just take the RB, put him on an in. And with these two routes, you can now hit this guy a little bit further to the left. So you got two different spots that you're gonna throw to him. And then what you can do is you can take the B and you can motion him to the left and see how that angle is right there? That angle right now is going to be able to beat cover four without anybody getting there. And then the last thing we're going to do is take the RB and streak him. And then motion him to the left. And that's going to give you the doubles. And now you throw it to the B. So you can see... This Bronco Cross is going to go to your number one receiver four different ways and basically four different places, but you can find ways to beat him open. Next play we're going to look at is the Corner Strike. Alright, on the Corner Strike play. Let's get our cover four out. We take the B receiver and you're going to motion him to the left. Okay, and that post play is going to open up with this route combination. Uh, post play in the slot is a very good opportunity to, to beat uh, cover four right underneath the middle. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the Z spot dig. And on the Z spot dig, we're going to take the Y, put him on a streak, okay, and that's going to be able to get you your uh, B route to be open as everybody just kind of falls apart, that time I, I waited, but what you want to do on this play, and I, I didn't explain it very well, or did it very well, Y on a streak, and what you do is on delayed, then you throw it to him right away, okay, this is a very good um, short yardage play against cover three, cover two, and cover four. Um, basically stop, delayed route, get him his yards right there. Um, because of the delayed route, basically people take their eyes off of him. 
and he gets that, you know, it's kind of like a delayed slant if you throw it right and he doesn't do the dig yet, right? So the next play you want to do is divide. Um, a bunch here. The divide play, right here. That's your cover four. You know, take your X receiver, put him on a streak. It'll put your B, and put him on a streak, and you want to move him to the left. That's going to create this double streaks to the left to clear everything out, and that's going to get your A receiver open if he doesn't get crushed. All right, try it again. B on a streak, move him over. X on a streak, move him over. And that's going to get your A cross. And I'm getting crushed here. So let's go ahead and hopefully show it to you when my offensive line holds up. The Y does want to kind of keep on that route because it does help clear out the spot. And that's the throw right there when you don't get any type of rush. Okay. Next play you want to look at is the close Bronco cross. And sticking with the gun here. We're at the bunch week going against cover four. And we're looking for the close Bronco cross. Call our cover four. So we're going to run this two different ways. We're going to take the X, put him on a streak, and we're going to put the RB, put him on a drag. Okay? That's going to give you the double um, levels of the crosses right there. And that's going to be able to go ahead and get your uh, the top cross, the A receiver, open, um, being the more dangerous of the receiver. That's the guy you want to get it to. Next way you can do is take the B, put him on a hitch. Hitch. Okay, put the B, put him on a hitch. And once everything clears out, that hitch is perfect right there to get you know, f four or five yards um, on any short yards kind of type of situation. Next play we're going to look at is the PA slot cross. This time we're going to be looking in the gun snugs. Okay, gun snugs, PA slot cross. Play I used to like a lot in the, since, since um, the Steelers playbook last year, but we're going to look at it a little bit different here. What we're going to do is take the Y receiver, motion him to the right, and see how he stays on that out pattern that's kind of a quick um, thing. So you do it here, throw it really quick to him, and definitely get you some short yardage. If you throw it better, he could turn this up field. Um, you know, basically, kind of because he's going to be wide open. You can kind of put it up field a little bit to where he can get up field. So that's a real quick hitter against cover four. Um, you know, this is just ways to get somebody out of cover four. You know, a lot of people, when they get to cover four and people struggle, they all freeze because they don't know what to, what to do. And this is why I'm giving you this guide to show you different ways to beat cover four. Next thing we're going to do on the same play is take the X, put it on a streak, right? And what that's going to do is going to get the... Um, the post open. Let me see here. Um, put this over here. And I think I got the wrong streak here. Let me tr let me try this again. On the PA cross, it says put the X on a streak, but I think it's X on a streak and then move him to the right. Because that would make more sense. Alright. X on a streak, move him to the right. Hold up. No. I need to look at that play because that play is not written the correct way here. But the way it looks like it's supposed to put the, maybe it's put the A on a streak. No. I mean, I got guys open all over the place, but uh, this isn't the way it's attended. Um, on this crossing route, basically it's going to get open every time against the cover four because if you drive it backwards, that Y is going to be able to beat him as long as you got enough time. But that's not the way the play is. We're going to move on from this play. Next play we're going to look at is the wide receiver cor uh, crosses on, guns, on the gun snugs. And here's the wide receiver crosses. Take our cover four. What we're going to do is put the Y on a streak, the A on a streak. 
So you got both those guys like that. And then um, you're going to put the B on a slant. And motion him to the left. So what that's going to do is going to create the double slants on that side. And you're going to actually go to the X receiver once it clears out, once I have enough room. Let's go ahead and show it to you a little bit better. So put him, move him over, put him on a slant, put the A on a slant, put the Y on the slant. It's going to look like this. Once they go ahead and they clear out, you can hit that B right away, or you can wait to the X. So you got two options depending on what type of um, yardage you want. But we're going to go ahead and show it again. B on a slant, A on a streak, Y on a streak, move him over. So if, say if I only want five yards and I want more of a... Um, you know, a uh, safer throw. You can throw it to him right away. Um, then you come back and throw it to the deeper guy. Next play we're going to look at is the Curl Weak Flood. And we're going to flip this. On the Curl Weak Flood, we're going to flip it. And this is what I was telling you before. When it comes to um, cover four on compression sets, any type of curl route inside the left position right there is going to kill it. So let's go ahead and just leave it as is. And you got all day there, right? That's a 10 to 12 yards all day. Curls from the slot on compressed sets, curls from the slot against cover four, just the way it is. It just sits there, and then you have all the time in the world to turn it up. So if you want to be cover four, I mean, you can pick any play out of this and basically um, throw a curl route there, and, and you're good to go. Um, next play we're going to go to is called Drive Corner. Alright. Let's go ahead and pick our cover four here. And on the Drive Corner play, we're going to the B receiver, and we're going to throw it to him quickly to beat cover four. So, right there and get your, your five, six yards right away. It's basically a quick hitter. As soon as you get there, be able to throw it to them, throw it to them as they cross up. That also is a cover two and a cover three beater as well. Um, let's go ahead and next play is PA slot options. I'm gonna run this the way it's supposed to be and then we're gonna flip it and run it for a different, uh, different type way after we flip it. So PA slot options is the play that we're gonna look at first. All right, so we're gonna run it as is, as far as not flipping it. And when it's not flipped, you're going to take the A, put them on a streak. And then you're going to take the Y, motion him to the right. Okay, so he's going to be on the out right there. And then you're going to put him on a... Actually, you know what? I got that wrong. Let's put this guy back. You're going to motion him left. And then put him on a comeback. Okay, and that's going to get open your B receiver for a bomb. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw it here. As long as we got enough time, and he is just money over the top. Okay, so let's make sure that you get it right there. You want to go ahead and we'll show it one more time so you can see it. It's kind of one of those plays that against cover four, if you really want to mess somebody up and get them out of cover four, go ahead and take your... Um, inside receiver here, your Y, move him to the left, put him on a curl, on, uh, put him on a um, on a comeback route, and then you also take your A, put him on a streak, and against cover four, watch the B receiver get over the top. And it's, um, that time I didn't get it because uh, the guy didn't um, bite it, but let's go ahead and show it to you why it works. Um, so put the A on a streak, put the Y on a comeback route, All right, do the whole motion. All right, that guy's gonna kill me. And the more more room you have to throw, the better on this play. I mean, I'm at the 40, and I'm still having a hard time throwing it over the top because there's not enough room. But move your Y to the left. I'm gonna go over this a couple times because I wanna make sure you see the consistency of it and show you how you how to do it. Um, Will it be something that does every time? No, but oh gosh, I, I, I messed that up. Okay, 
So let's start over. Here's the play. Put the A on a streak. Take the Y receiver, move him to the left, and put him on a comeback route. Okay, so there's your there's your setup. Do the full motion. Get enough time. As soon as he, that guy, breaks on the in, let me show it to you on instant replay. Usually on these type of guides, I don't go into detail how to do stuff, but I want to show it to you because this guide's going to come out before the uh, formation guide will. All right, so basically, what we're going to do here, if you see this guy right here, all right, what he's going to do, that's safety. He's going to bite on this in. See how he takes two steps in? Now, on cover four, as soon as that, he can't get back in time. And that's why you're throwing this ball over the top for the deep pass. All right, so it's another one of those plays that can kill on cover four. Um, you know, if somebody thinks it's a safe play, cover four, and you find a way to manipulate them, you can really kill them there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and flip this play. And um, what we can do here is we can put the Y on a streak. And then we can put the A receiver, move him to the right, put him on a comeback. And this time we're going to try to get to the X receiver. This guy stops. And now you're throwing it over the top to him. See how that works? Play symmetrical. Um, against cover four. You can do it either side. So, showed it to you both ways. Wanted to make sure that you see that. It's one of those bomb plays that I like to throw in there um, so you can see how that can beat cover four. Let's go to gun snugs. Let's go to slot post. It's the next play. Alright, slot post. We're going to look at it. Um, like this, go ahead and put the cover four on it. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Y receiver, put him on a streak, okay? And then what we're gonna do is hit the seam route to the A receiver when he crosses the middle linebacker. Okay, you wanna use his body to shield that receiver. Then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna put the A on a streak And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing to the Y receiver to the inside. So you can go either or with that as well. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and look at the Bronco seams. And the snugs. And on the Bronco seams play, you're going to take the X receiver. You're going to put him on a fade, and you want to motion him to the right-hand side. And that's going to get you to the A receiver on the seam route. Okay, so go ahead. He's going to change it up. And that time I didn't get to the, the um, off, but um, you want to throw that ball a little bit quicker. So you're going to move him, put him on a fade, move him over. And you're going to see where the A receiver is going to be open right there. Okay, let me show you here. I'm, I'm throwing this off because I'm getting the guys mixed up here. A on a fade. Let's see if I can get to the A receiver right away. Right there. So you want to throw it there. It's a quick throw. It's a tight squeeze. Um, let me see here. If I can... By theory, I should be able to get this ball down the seam a little bit deeper. Yeah. Okay. So if I go ahead, and, and I wrote this play wrong, but I'm going to go ahead and do I need to back this play up in order to make this work. But if I back this play up and basically put this guy on a fade, put the Y receiver on a smart routed out you should be able to get this ball to this a receiver over the top and that guy shouldn't be able to get to it but i'm throwing it a little bit different that guy's definitely getting there let's see what i how i wrote this i remember this play being a good play and i'm writing it to where i 
I gotta find a way to get that guy out of the way. All right, either or, let's scratch that for now. I'll give you an update if I can get this play to work the way I want it to. Um, and I'm thinking maybe it has to do with maybe putting the B on a slant. Hmm. Maybe that's not it. Let's try this here. And this is definitely something I don't like to lab in the middle of my videos. I should have it, but this play is like on the verge of making it work, and I just don't want to do a whole new video. There it is. Alright. So what I did was, and I, I didn't write it right, but I want to make sure that you got it here. Basically, you want to put your X on a fade, move him to the right. Okay? You want to put your Y on a a curl. That's going to hold that guy there for a half a second so when he stops you should be able to get it over the top to that guy. Okay, Let's show it to you one more time to show that I wrote it down wrong but I knew this play was a home run threat and I didn't want to wa walk away without knowing it. So X on a uh, fade, Y on a um, comeback and basically throw it over the top and hopefully I don't get smothered like I just did. Alright, so let's go ahead. I don't want to take too much time on this play again, guys. But I do want to show if you have a home run threat, this will be worth your time watching this. Uh, we could put the B on, the RB on a block. But go ahead right there. And you're just throwing it over the top. And that's the one safety, if you see him. That's actually the cornerback. Um, Brandon Carr is the one that's getting over there. But let's go ahead and show it. how you can throw it if you throw it correctly over the top that guy stops throwing it over the top to the left so you get away from him okay so that's that play in a nutshell um obviously i wanted to make sure that uh you you saw it from you know the inception of it because um and you want to make sure that you do put that y on a fade um, on on a curl route so that way um it holds that receiver so Let's go ahead and get out of this right now. And um, part four of this series, guys, is going to be um, the last 10 to 15 plays. So I'm going to cut this off here so the video doesn't get too much.